It is a sunny day in Torrance, California. Members of Southern California Live Steamers are putting together trains for the run day, and one special treat for the day is 262 Prairie Type, California Pacific Number 2. This is a 3 and 3 quarter inch equals 1 foot scale narrow gauge designed locomotive. I'm Nate and this is Nate's Vintage Trains. Please consider subscribing if you like this sort of content and in this video we will be following number two helping set up the train and see what it's like to be conductor for her. The engineer is rolling back and forth on the short section of yard track to warm up the cylinders and get any water condensation out. This is diesel fuel fired steam locomotive. Other trains are getting ready for the day as members assemble the coaches or cars and all preparations are made in order to have a successful day. Yep. I was asked to help out in assembling the train for the steam locomotive. Come back. Keep going, come back. Open, keep it coming, keep coming. Nope, nope, forward. Come back, come back again. You're, you're good. I okay, plug the hose into the train first. It's already in the train. Uh, oh, let's plug it into the locomotive then. There it is. Thank you. Okay. Shake, uh, shake those cars and see if they roll. Give them a little shake. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, Jeremy, you want to hop on? Yeah, sure. It's small for me. There you go. So you can hop on right here. Now, can I ask you a favor? Mm -hmm. Will you ride point with me and we're going to push back to the water siding and put it in the water siding real quick? Okay. That sounds good. The train runs around to the water siding where the water tank is. Ah, the nice smell of diesel in the morning. The person riding on the tender is a photographer who is a friend of the engineers that was there for the day. Clear of the yard.
And of course, just when things were going smoothly, there had to be a derailment. This train is not the easiest to put back on the tracks. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to lift it, I think. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't film the whole thing because I had to help manhandle the train back onto the rails. Or it was just the tender truck. So, to make sure everything's alright, the locomotive runs back and forth some. Does it look okay? And nothing else nothing seems to be the issue. We were having trouble with one of my cars here last one day. <laughs> Nice and steady. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can feel it. It's definitely a loft level right there. One of these, yeah. Yeah, the other car is getting on trail. When nothing obvious was found and the train was clear of the bad track, we hopped back on and continued to the water siding. Now, once everything was set up and the monthly meeting had been completed, all trains started running with passengers in tow. This train can haul a good number of people, and for part of the day, I was conductor.
Once the day was done, all the trains were being put away, and the locomotive was being drained of water in the boiler. So, thank you so much for watching this video. This is Nate for Nate's Vintage Trains. Keep it old school, and until next time, God bless you all.